Hello and welcome to the Rosetude series. Today we're going to look at etude number 7. So how to approach that etude? First, look at the key signature, E minor. So we're going to have F sharp and D sharp. Tempo, allegretto. So the dotted quarter notes equals 66 will be a good tempo. Time signature, 6, 8. Two dotted quarter notes per measure. Dynamics, pianissimo to forte. Articulation, mainly slurs. Breath mark, if you have some already written, use it. Type of etude, it's a lyrical etude. How to practice this etude? Practice slowly, first divide. Eight notes equals 66, will be a good tempo on your metronome. And then make your way up to 108. When you feel confident on 108 and comfortable, then try to play it at quarter note equals 66. Practice one melodic line at a time from one breath mark to another. Don't move on to the next line until notes, rhythm, dynamics, and articulation are controlled. Make music. Think of what an opera singer would do with this line. You can try to sing it too. When the two first lines are controlled, put them together. Then work on the third line and add it to the two previous lines, and so on. So a few tips before starting to practice it. Let's look at measure 12. Here we have a D sharp on the right, meaning the note before. It's going to have to be on the left, so C sharp on the left. D sharp on the right. So. Next measure is measure 16, chromaticism. Here we're gonna go from B to B, so one octave down. Um, if you don't know your chromatic scale, or if you don't know it too well, that's gonna be harder. So look at my video about the chromatic scale. So here, quite fast so I'll just play it so you have an idea how it sounds then another D sharp on the right meaning the C sharp before it's going to be on the left and then the B oh the B sharp so C natural it's going to be to be on the right again so pretty much you have to use your pinky left right left all right, left, right. But the goal is that we have so many keys on both sides so we don't have to do two notes in a row on the same side and slide. We just want to do left, right, left, or right, left, right. Okay? So I'll play that little passage. Another measure here that has also the D sharp on the right is going to be measure 55. So we have a D sharp, I mean the note after C has to be on the left and then B on the right. Measure 57, more grace notes. Here only one. Here we have four notes. So the four notes are there. So in the context. Even more grace note, measure 60. Here we have two. We have one grace note. I measure 62, we have three grace notes. So the note before, the B has to be on the left, and of course after it has to be on the left as well. So. Measure 
Avenue, we also have a D sharp, so then the C after is going to be on the left. And then finally, measure 72, we have our last great note. So now that we've looked at a lot of little tips, mainly on grace notes and on taking the D sharp on the right and the notes before on the left pinky, we're going to try to look at the whole piece. So I'm going to play the whole piece and you can follow along on the score that you will see appearing on the side and I hope it will help you play the piece a little better.